girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm showing you guys my very first tattoo. And yes, this is not a trick. This is real. This is a real tattoo on my wrist. And my very first tattoo that I ever gotten. I've been thinking about getting a tattoo for a very long time. I've just been all of these thoughts of um, of what the pain process would be like and I've been doing some research about tattoos and how long the tattoo would take and what design I would pick that would take at least five minutes or so but surprisingly I actually went through the process and it wasn't too bad as I thought it would be so as soon as I got my tattoo schedule you know booked getting my tattoo my mom took me to this really cool tattoo place somewhere downtown near my area, which this guy who did my tattoo, really sweet guy, really nice guy. He's got a couple of tattoos of his own and really sweet guy. I noticed that he had like a One Piece anime poster on his wall and I noticed that he's a big anime fan, just like I am. And we started talking a little bit about anime. And then after a while, he started getting his tools prepped and putting the design on my arm. And then and after a while, he told me to just sit back. And then he started, you know, doing the whole tattoo process. And the first few lines going into the tattoo, it was... It, w it did hurt, yes. Tattoos, yes, they do hurt. To clarify, for anyone who wants to get a tattoo in the future, they do hurt, but everybody has a different pain tolerance. For me, I give the pain scale a bit of a six. It, yeah, it was kind, it did kind of hurt. Like, it doesn't hurt like, like, ow, ow, like, oh my God, oh, like, like screaming bloody murder. It doesn't hurt like that. It just hurts like, ow, stop it stop it like like it hurts but you can like tolerate it in some sort of way like the first few lines did hurt but it wasn't that bad not until it got up to right up here is when it started to hurt it a bit more and i started to bump the pain index to a seven and then after it was done i was really satisfied with my with my design choice because once you get a tattoo you're gonna have it forever unless you want it removed and I heard that getting your getting a tattoo removed is a lot worse than actually getting the tattoo itself and that part would take a lot of process to remove it and stuff so whenever you get a tattoo you got to choose wisely on what design you want because you're gonna have it for life and then after the tattoo design was all done and stuff I had to get go to Walgreens get some aquaphor put some moisturizer on it to keep it moist so it can heal and all of that and had to be wrapped in saran wrap for an hour and stuff and ever since i've got this tattoo i cannot stop looking at it it just looks so amazing i feel proud of myself and i chose this design because duh peaceful presley where would i be without a peace sign tattoo since my channel is called peaceful presley where would i be without it and i i've always been attracted to the peace sign ever since I was a kid so choosing the peace sign for my first tattoo was a good design choice and I know a lot of family members of mine that have tattoos and it look real cool and I've been thinking what would I look like with a tattoo I've seen my mom with some tattoos my older brother some of my cousins a bunch of other people I know that have tattoos I was thinking about, I never showed my tattoo on Instagram to any of my family members or anything like that. The only people that know about my tattoo was my mom, my dad, and my two brothers, and my mom's friends. So not a whole lot of people know that I have a tattoo. I was thinking about showing my cousins secretly my tattoo, but I realized that it's not going to work because... My grandma and my cousins, they're probably going to watch this video right now thinking, Oh my god, you got a tattoo? Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you show it on Instagram? I realized that showing them on secret is not going to be, you know, it, it's, it's pointless to show them secretly. And I just wanted to post this video because I really wanted to make a topic about this because I, I just love my tattoos so much. I wanted to show you guys the whole process and the story and 
how nice my ta the tattoo guy what really was. Very sweet guy. Very, very sweet guy. Shout out to that person. I'm not going to say his name because, you know, I love to keep things anonymous. You don't want to, you know, go into information about this person and blah, 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 blah. Always keep things anonymous when it comes to mentioning people that you know on your YouTube channel. Unless you want to, you know, tell who their name is and stuff like that. But anyway, proud of my tattoo. And if you guys ever think about getting one yourself... You can do some a little bit of research and and um I remember oh before I go I remember get poking yourself don't poke yourself because that's not that's not what the tattoo process is going to feel like poking yourself with a push pin or like a small small knife or anything like that on your on the skin area where you're planning on getting your tattoo it's not the same as getting the tattoo needles on you because the needles are are fast. It's like a fast, like it moves very fast and it goes deep into your skin. Only two layers of skin and it feels like a very hot cat scratch. So poking a push pin on your skin or like a knife on your skin, that's not the same thing as having, a ta having the tattoo needle pierce your skin. Those are completely different things. I've tried using a push pin on the on the area that I wanted a tattoo, and I realized it's not it's not the same thing. As soon as I realized what having a tattoo feels like, it is very different from what you expect it to be. So don't go out there poking yourself or doing all those weird dangerous stuff and probably drawing some blood and making your area worse than it already is. So just wait until you want to get a tattoo and if you're too scared don't get a tattoo not everybody in this world has a tattoo and that's okay i just wanted a tattoo because you know i just thought i wanted to be cool you know fit in like everybody else but i still feel proud of it no matter if i look cool with or without it i still look i still look amazing just like i am it's called self-confidence try it sometime Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.